Hi, I'm Chad with Terra Organics, and today I'm going to show you how to properly top dress a St. Augustine lawn. Now, this is actually a little bit different than a normal top dressing, as a really thin layer, but a thin top dressing that something as a top dressing machine would do would be more to sustain um, healthy soil. If you already have a good base and you wanna keep that there, that would be a nice thin layer. But we have a lot here in the Jacksonville and St. Augustine area is really, really poor soil. So what we need there is a thicker layer because we're not trying to just put a thin layer on top. We're actually trying to replace a lot of this sandy anaerobic soil. This is a thicker top dressing. If you're really struggling with getting color out of your lawn, even after fertilizing or hiring companies, this is absolutely something you need to do. We're using Command Soil. This is some of the best soils. Now you don't have to use Command, but if you can get a hold of it, I would highly recommend. This technique of top dressing can be used with any soil, but Command is absolutely the best. So here we've already put the mounds around in the lawn. Again, we're doing a thick top dressing, uh, but what we've done is, is we put mounds all around in the lawn here, and as you can see, we've already spread some. So this is what we're gonna be looking for. Um, and we've completed this strip here where it's a nice thick layer. You still have grass poking through and it's not damaging. So what I'm gonna show you how to do is properly top dress this lawn using your best friend, a hard tooth rake. This is the only tool you'll need to do this. Um, and you'll be using both sides of it. And I'll show you that it's really, really useful and makes this job a lot easier. Top dressing in St. Augustine grass is not easy. It's a tall, thick bladed grass. It doesn't want to spread evenly. And I'll show you how to do that today. So here we're doing a whole front yard. You don't have to do a whole area. You can do smaller areas, uh, but this is a good about how much the soil should be spread apart. Uh, we know that from experience, but as a homeowner, you may want to do one bag at a time to kind of figure it out. Actually, we're going to start here with this pile um, because it's kind of new and around. So I take the two sides of the rake and I kind of just go around and spread it out to give me a little bit of room there. All right, so I've kind of got it spread and got a good base. You're gonna flip it over. This back side of the rake is going to be your best friend. This is what you're gonna to wanna to use 90% of the time. And you're gonna kind of, what I like to do is just go a little bit back and forth right in the middle here. And, and you're not pushing down hard. The hardest part is I hold underneath the rake because I'm floating it. I, I'm not shoving it down. Now, if you want to do a lighter layer and get it down, you know, you could do something like that. Uh, but it's really, really not needed. So you want to kind of do about where the base of the soil is here. You kind of want to keep the rake floating. So I kind of move around. Um, I walk around. I want to clean up these edges first. Get this dirt to kind of see how far it'll spread. And again, I'm just staying right here on top of the soil. I'm using this, this hand here to keep it kind of floating out. So see, then you kind of get it spread around. And then you just keep going. It don't have to be perfectly level. Do not worry about that. Mother Nature will settle it. And see, this was one bag spread out fairly quickly, nice and thick. This is a good. Let's here. Let's uh, let's look. This is a good inch and a half, two inches of soil here in this area. Again, if the area is more bare, it can be thicker uh, as applied, but I wouldn't do any less than this. This is a really good base that we have here. And you can see there's plenty of grass poking up. So the grass isn't gonna be choked out um, or harmed in any way. A lot of people are really concerned about that, but I promise you the thicker, the better. And that way you don't have to keep repeating this process because it's hot. It's not fun, um, so I like to, I always say, let's just do it right the first time and get it done, and that's absolutely what we're doing here. What I'll do is I'll rake out a couple more and kind of show you. That way you can see these piles all kind of blend together. And then too, if you need, if you put too much dirt in one area, it's too thin, that's what it's for. You see, it's kind of thick already in here. I need a little bit of soil here. Grab and pull. Grab and pull. Then. Back side of my rake, my best friend. And I come around, clean that up. Now see, I'm still gonna be light a little bit on the area, that's okay. I'm gonna come back with another bag and, and fill that up. I'd rather, you'd rather do it thick and have to come back and apply more than trying to spread one area too thin. So then I kind of have these piles that were all together. Now I have a big dirt area. I kind of need to blend this whole area. And again, I'm using my technique, I'm throwing my rake out, bringing it back, but as you see, I have it picked up. I kind of am leaving it on one plane. So whether it's too low 
or too high there, kind of evening it out. See, it's a, you know, thicker in some areas and thinner in others, but that's okay. We're doing that, that technique, but the lower areas are getting thicker soil and the higher areas are getting less soil. And that's how you'll help balance out the yard here. See, so you gotta... I know, and to be honest, I'm making this look easy. I do this a lot. You're not gonna find it as easy as I can, and that's okay. But as long as you have the right tools and you're working on the right technique as you go along, you'll kind of get it. But don't feel you need to go this fast. This is, this is what I do for a living. Big reason to use command is this is literally the perfect texture soil. As you can see, not much clumping. And you can see how easy it is for me to push that. So I will actually also say the soil is making me look a little bit better than I am, but to work with the, the right tools and the right soil makes the job a little bit easier. So, so I kind of have this pile. It's a little bit too, too much in this area. So I'm just gonna take it and drag it away with that tooth. Drag it away. Drag all this extra away. Here we go. There we go. Got all that excess soil out of there. That way I'm not burying up on the lawn. And a good even coat. Look at you want to see. You're going to go, wow, it's a lot of dirt. And yeah, it is. But also, within two weeks, most of this is going to settle. This lawn's going to look very different in two weeks. So they're really only going to have a week to a week and a half where their whole front yard looks like dirt. Um, so it will settle very quickly. Because you're probably seeing this and thinking, wow, um, all they're gonna have is a dirt lawn and they will, but only for about a week. But the results will be worth it. Again, this is for these new builds, sandy soil, anaerobic soil, you're fertilizing. Now, we do this after an aeration. So we have aerated the yards to put holes all in the ground. So our, our soil is falling deep down in those holes. So this, so we're gonna get results a lot quicker than rather waiting mother nature to put that soil where it needs to be. The holes in the ground are allowed to sink in. So this, these results are gonna be a lot faster because it's gonna start using this nice nutrient rich soil. Also, this is a long-term result. Now, if I fertilize this yard, some of the best fertilizers in the world, I'm gonna give you six months results. Most of them give you two to three. And a lot, most of them a lot less too. So this is an investment. This will last five to 10 years here in the soil. And um, every time now that we come and fertilize this customer's lawn, they have good soil that's promoting microbial activity, organic matter, and all that good lawn stuff. Now, they're gonna get better results from our service and the lawn will be more protected in the winter and in drought. And they have a way better base. I mean, like everyone says, you know, the base is Anything. That's going to be true here as well. And you can see as I'm talking and doing this, it's really going to come together here. And again, most of you will be doing smaller areas, so you won't need. This was 20 bags in this front yard. There we go. So I'm not completely done. A couple areas we need to touch up and, and finish up and look at, and then usually I go over it one more good time, but. This is 90% done here. It was done pretty quickly, um, and the results are gonna be immaculate. The lawn looks like dirt, but in the next week and a half to two weeks, it won't. It's gonna thicken up, green up, extra growth very, very quickly. <laughs> Now, some people will be filling in areas like this. This is actually a bare area. Now, we were top dressing a thin lawn, but this is a bare area. What you can do here is lay it definitely thicker in these little bits of grass that are in there. That's okay if they're covered up. And so everything for these areas is the same technique, but it will be just a lot thicker. 
I'll show you is where we see here in the front yard is uh, you can see all the grass and everything poking up. But here, we won't see that and that's because the area is going to be bad. But that's okay. Let's do the same thing. See, we're doing a little bit lighter now. We want to make sure this stays pretty thick in this area. And then same technique, back to that rake. Hit it in, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a, hit it a little slower because I'm trying to be a little more precise. Just trying to get it going a little bit thicker. Okay. There we go. Hey man, that's it for that area. I just wanna show you, there's no grass poking up there. The area was there, the grass was compacted, growing low, that's okay. It will settle, grass will poke, it will fill in, and you'll have an awesome lawn. Just the number one rule is please be patient. This is not gonna be fast results. This will take time. I can't tell you how long. Shady areas will take longer, full sun areas will be quicker. It depends your soil, your water, your irrigation, your fertilization schedule, but I promise you, this is the right path. This is the step one to getting this there. This will help fill in no matter what you do. This will help fill it in by 50% faster. I can promise you I've experienced it a million times. Even if you're not taking care of the lawn the right way, doing the soil is better than doing nothing at all, guaranteed. This has been how to properly top dress your St. Augustine lawn. If you have any questions or anything, please leave them below in the comments and I'll, I'll do my best to answer everyone's questions. I'm Chad with Turf Organics and you have a great rest of your day. Thank you.